I've been working on turning this wavestorm into an electric jet surfboard for about a year. And after about a year, I got it all put together and it was coming along like pretty good. It looked pretty cool actually. And it was finally time for me to take it surfing. But the first thing that I needed to do was make sure the lid was watertight. So I used this waterproof silicon to make a gasket and then did a hose test. Yeah, this is, this is all full of water. So this was a good thing that I did this test because I would have been screwed. Okay, so in theory, this stuff is really cool because it squishes down to like, you know, an eighth of an inch. Really like, I mean, it takes some pressure, but it's not, you know, it's, it's my two fingers. The problem is in practice, when you actually try to put, like push my lid down, it takes quite a bit more force and realistically won't even push down far enough for me to get the screws to engage. It's like imperative that I don't let any water get to these batteries. And so I think the main thing that I wanna do is I wanna put more screws into the lid so it'll help it seal it tighter and more securely. And then I'm gonna put the weather stripping over the whole thing. And there was a couple screws, um, like screw anchors that needed to get, basically like they, they weren't very secure, they came out. Dude, this one had like nothing, this is crazy. So anyway, I'm gonna redo a couple of those, add some more, and then um, I think we're good to go. I got some new weather stripping on and some new screw holes. So I'm gonna put this new lid on and see how it goes. I, I have a good feeling about it. it. It looks like it should do pretty well. Frick yeah, it's dry as a whistle. What's the word of phrase I'm looking for? It's dry, it's dry. And this is the main part that needed to be dry, and it is dry. Cool, so got it working, and I think it's time to go take it out. I don't know why this feels so weird. I spent so much time on this board, and I guess I just hope that it works. Like, if it, if it doesn't work, it's gonna be really sad. <laughs> I'm like, I spent so much time and money on this thing. And uh, I was thinking it was gonna be, you know, this board that goes fast and like, I can go launch a wave and whatever, whatever my, you know, expectation was, which is kind of what it was, but um, it's just gonna be so weird if it's like, doesn't do, if it's just a dud. And I, I, I guess I, I, you know, I, I, it started and it runs but I just don't know how it runs in the water. Like if this is just going to be so weird, I, I'm, I, I don't really know what to expect. Like I know what I want to happen, but I don't really know what should is going to happen. So I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I hope this works. It should work. I just don't know how well it's going to work. I hope it works well. Um, anyway, it's time. One of the first things I'm wondering is if this thing is even going to float. Like, it's probably 40 pounds, it's quite heavy, and uh, I don't think it has quite that much buoyancy to float the weight of the board and me, and I'm kind of afraid if, if it gets submerged too much that it'll start taking water in, but hopefully that won't happen. See if it floats. Look at that, it floats. We are floating. And test the power. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go test the satellite.
and this is a reenactment of me putting my camera in my wetsuit, jumping on my surfboard, and paddling out into the ocean. And it actually was that hard to get on because it was so like not buoyant. And when the motor started having issues, I turned around to come back in and... Dude, it's burning the freaking... Tesla, someone... This is bad. That's bad, babe. All right, moment of truth to see what happened under this thing. I don't know. I, I, I think the batteries is what did it, but it smoked out back here. So it could have been the... I don't know. Like, I'm super curious. So here we go. It was the freaking ESCs. It wasn't even the batteries. It's actually a little surprising because these were supposed to be waterproof. What a bummer. Maybe my batteries are still okay though. China! It's like little molten metal pieces. Molten metal everywhere. It's pretty intense. Okay, just wanted to share some thoughts um, number one thought would be <clears throat> got to have a lid that protects your components, your like equipment, because just that one simple thing, no matter how good my design is, if I can't get that one simple thing right, like the whole thing's dead, obviously. And I wouldn't say that this was actually like a great design anyway, now that I've done it and understand it better. This design, the battery didn't have a long life. And the motors, I don't know if it was the motors or the battery or, or how that works exactly, but there wasn't really enough power. So number one, need a lid that seals the water. Number two is I need more power so it goes fast. But then the other end of that spectrum is like, yeah, you can, you can build a board and build you know, a motor that has a ton of power, but how heavy is that going to be? Because, yeah, I, I want to go fast. I want it to feel like I'm surfing without having to generate speed. But I still want to be able to surf it too. If it's too heavy, I can't surf it. So there's going to be a unique balance of things, um, trying to balance power and weight and, and finding that sweet spot. But I think that'll be the third thing that I really want to work on or just kind of talk about here, which is I, I got all these components based on what other people were doing and just assumed I would get the same outcome. And I don't think I would do it that way. And again, I, I think I'm going to design it, have an idea, and then talk to people that actually know what they're doing. Maybe do some ChatGPT homework or something, but or or maybe talk to people that know what they're doing so that I can design it to do, you know, to achieve what I'm trying to do. You know, it's a it's a huge bummer that I spent all this time and money on this board. Like truly, I, I was like kind of dev devastated. It was like pretty frustrating. But I started thinking about it, like you know. I really admire Elon, and he blew up three rockets before he got his successful one. You know, I'm going to give myself a little bit of grace. This was my first try. I have a lot more understanding for how this works now. And I'm just going to have to say, like, you know, it was just part of, the, you know, my, my tuition to making a really fun board. If it can be done, I think it can be done, though. I'll, I'll find out. Like, I'm going to find out. For me, this thing is only worth it if I end up finding a board that is like actually fun to surf. If I don't do that, then it's like, what was, like this was all for nothing. So I don't feel like I can give up right now. I'm just gonna kind of shelf it. I'm still having hope that there's like a board out there that's like fast and rips and like can do fun things. So I don't know, stay tuned, see what I do. But probably next year.